So yeah, here at the beginning now, obviously we had the whip. He wanted um, he wanted an early night, so that's why he gave me a little spoon. He said, if you can if you can keep this one a bit short for me, he went, I'll be thankful. We've not had any stoppages tonight, so I think he had a, he didn't want a long night, so that's why I was having a little giggle at the beginning. Obviously coming out now, he's just hyped. Do you know what I mean? My crowd can't lie. Number one crowd, do you know what I mean? They get me out, they're right behind me always, where the through, so I love getting behind them and getting them going. Uh, it was Drake, Jimmy Cooks. Um, it has a few reasons. It's, well, it's a song that I love. Um, I, I love Drake anyway as an artist, you know, fellow what's over boy, so follow the same pattern. Do you know what I mean? It was just a track that I just, it just gets me in such a good mood. Gets me going. Um, but you know, yeah. What was the emotion coming from the ring? Uh, excited. It was one of the main ones I'd say, excited. Nerves to a certain angle because obviously, like I say, I'd only been with Pat for a short period of time, three weeks. So there was that nerve of wanting to impress him. Do you know what I mean? Wanting to show that what we've done in the gym for the three weeks has mattered. It's not just gone in one ear and out the other. Um, but no, more than anything, I was just, I was looking forward to it, just ready to go. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Um, but yeah, massive respect, obviously, to the other opponent as well. You know, getting in there, it takes two. But um, no, yeah. It was a great night overall, I think. Great night overall, 100%. Uh, here we go now. I've got to admit though, you'll hear my mum every time on these, on these commentaries. You probably could hear it from the side where you were stood, to be honest. I'm not going to lie, like, you can't miss her and my sister. Oh, 100% she is, yeah. The only thing that did feel weird is usually I do have my, uh, my dad in the corner. Not just because he's my dad, it's because he's been my coach since day one when it was football. I did football and it was tie to tie. And obviously when I did boxing for a lot of the period, he's always been there. So I think it was a good thing that it, for the first one we packed, it was just me and him so that I could get that, that connection and bond and a bit of, you know, finger. But obviously we'd like next one to have him in there just so that, you know, it's my, you know, it's because he's part of my team, but obviously I want Pat's team as well. I want to collaborate all together and have that connection. Obviously Pat being number one. And number two, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I wanted the first one to just be me and Pat and just have that. And my dad agreed, you know, just have that moment with him and just see how you do. And obviously, you know, as you can tell, you know, fun performance and that. Barring the first two rounds, I wasn't too happy with, but we'll get into that next. So obviously, we're starting here now. Six rounds here, Leighton, Colin Moore, fighting Karane Ragnick. Do you want me to be honest with you? I was thinking just throw one good jab for Pat. <laughs> I said, if I don't throw one good jab in this whole fight, I'm not going to hear the end of it. I thought that next, that next week on the Monday when I go to the gym, I thought he's going to make me just stand there for two hours straight, just jabbing and I thought, I ain't got that capability in my arm. <laughs> so, I can't lie, that was the other thing. But in, in effect of that though, I think that did, that did actually play a part because I think first two rounds, if you watch a fight, I was kind of just like in autopilot mode. I was just, just ticking with it. I wasn't really snapping it as much as I watched it because I was over... Anyway, still we're thinking it a bit uh, too much than what I needed to be, and obviously you know as, as the rounds you know can just on and then Pat spoke to me and he was like just stop thinking about it too much, just let it come. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, uh, for the first two rounds especially, I was just trying to do Pat too much, and like I say, then he spoke to me and obviously you know that's what the minute in the corner is for. Family and friends oh, like James, and you've got that many there. The jab did the most damage. So. Jab controls the fight, it can take you around the world, your jab. They do say that, so, you know, it's vital to have a good jab. I think any fighter can be clinical with the jab. You've got nine tenths of a battle already done, do you know what I mean? So, I understand why it's so important. Um, but no. So, the opponent was good, he, 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 was, he was a bit wild with his hands, you know, he was a bit loose and very unorthodox in terms of his style. It wasn't very, you know, some journey, like, you know, journey could be quite tight and compact where you've got to, like, pull the openings where the openings was there, but he was just very, like, he'd move the way he shouldn't, but because it was so unexpected, he'd get away with it, do you know what I mean? So it was trying to use my eyes to react to that instead of trying to think, well, he's hitting with his right, he's going to roll out. It was hitting with his right and doing some weird step. Do you know what I mean? So he knocked, he knocked the rim off that, but then once I got to that groove and understood that he's just going to move on orthodox. Uh, obviously, Pat told me to watch him a little bit. Obviously, you know, we had a few opponent changes, especially the last week. So we had about, what, I think it's three in the last week of opponent changes, so... The guy that I watched at the start of the week was not the guy at the end of the week, do you know what I mean? But obviously I do like to watch him a bit just to see how they are about and stuff. Like, of course, 
I feel like it's one of them you can edu educate yourself as much as you can on fire, but then they could come in and just do total opposite. Do you know what I mean? It's like a football game. It can, can change at any moment. So I feel like first round, watching them and just seeing how they react to you attacking them, react to you being on the defensive, should give you enough pointers to know what, what they're about and when, what the game is. Do you know what I mean? They're coming with 100%. So for me, first round, it's just seeing that which one they're, they're about and which one's more they're more confident with and, and what weak spots they show in each area definitely um but yeah first round was just you know jab first round done all right yeah fitness wise i was fine do you know what i mean like obviously you know i wasn't 100 fit but for six rounds i was well enough fit enough do you know what i mean like i say i could have done the six rounds high pace you know what i mean but obviously at the beginning i was just too fixated on making sure i threw one proper jab in it <laughs> which you know Things were happens. Happens. So you, you were just saying like, you know, be a bit more of a snap with the jab, you know, just keep that jab snapping, do you know what I mean? Don't leave it in the area for him to try and come off it, do you know what I mean? Um, and then he was just, um, what I always remember, he just said, just, 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 just be late and that's what he was saying at first. And for like the, the, first, the first two rounds, I got what he meant, he said, be me, but then I realised, well, obviously, round three, when, you, when we get to round three, I see what he meant. He was like, just be late with a hint of patch. You know what I mean? So he was saying, like, just put a drop of me in there for now and just do you. Where I was trying to do Pat with a drop of Leighton, and that's where I was over. I was clashing with my own mind. My body's wanting to do one thing, my mind was doing the other. And that's why I think first two, I was just very, very cruising. It was just. So, the average person would probably think, oh, he's just, he's just jabbing, he's just working the ring, he's just being efficient, shall we say. But for what I wanted to do, it was nothing on what I wanted to do. But. That's the part of the learning curve, do you know what I mean? That's where, you know, when you come back in the gym, you recorrect, do you know what I mean? When you're sparring like today, you recorrect, do you know what I mean? And that's where you make, the, you know, you make the mistakes in there, so then when you're in the ring, you can flourish from it, do you know what I mean? So, no, yeah, obviously the second one started to up it a bit more, I started to, you know, throw a few more range of shots, you see how he reacted. At first it was just the jab, backhand, try to find that backhand. And then obviously second round, it was more, you know, try to get that slip, try to find the underneath the body, just get them elbows up a little bit and down. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it round two. And then, yeah, it was, you know, like I say, it was just being a bit more clinical with my shots now and trying not to waste them, not, you know, I'm going to throw it, throw it with intention, don't just throw it and leave it there, do you know what I mean, and be picked from. Yeah, 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 as you can hear from here, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Like, I, can't, I can't lie. That, you know, they they, they go, a they go to the you know the top level. Like, you know, come out with the banners. Like, you know, well, you know, everyone knows Aki in boxing. They all know Angela. She's the biggest uh, boxing, but you know, boxing fan. She watches everything. She watches probably more than me, to be honest. And that's pretty bad when you think about it. But <laughs> it's just the way she is. But no, like banners. They've all got the shirts on. You know, like they, they just they wear it with pride. And do you know what I mean? And it, it, it's, it's, it's a mint, it's a mint feeling, you know, like just walking out and just seeing them there in the red and black and, you know, the white shirts with the team Colin Moore on and, you know, like, you know, some of them are just friends, they're not even, like, family, but I class everyone as family because it doesn't, you know, blood doesn't make you the family, do you know what I mean? It's, it's what, they, you know, what they do and, you know, them going out their way to buy tickets, travel to places. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, and obviously, and sponsors as well, because obviously I had sponsors that support me. So they're giving away tickets, some of them will buy if they can't make it, they'll, they'll buy a lot of tickets and give them away for charity, you know. A lot of them do do a lot of things sometimes if they can't make it, because obviously, you know, they, they can be quite busy. Or some they'll come and they'll, they'll like, you know, they're on the table or... So it, it, it all plays part, you know what I mean? Like, getting to that ring and that end point, there's so much more that goes to building it up, do you know what I mean? And people just don't realise, like, how their little bits can, put, can get you to that point, do you know what I mean? And you know, hopefully, God willing, Peter It'll be all worth it in the long run, do you know what I mean? And the people that did help, what we've forgotten about. Um, but no, yeah, I think we're getting to like the last 30 here now of the round. Started to just put the pressure on him now, yeah. Cause I started to think, well, he's just, you know, he, he's, he's, he's trying to come out a bit adventurous, but then he's just not wanting none of it. And like, uh, well, we just literally had the moment where we uh, got the low blow, um, the questionable low blow. Um, but you know, from my angle, I thought it, it, just, it was on the top edge of the belt. Okay. I felt it was legal. Uh, ref, I think, giving the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. With it being round two, just let him have that breather, I think, you know, just for the grace of it. Looked Pat in the eyes, Pat was like, it's on the belt. But, you know, so far, just give him respect, yeah, touch his glove. It can happen, yeah, if it did it him, though, it, like, I'm sure he comes out and he catches me at one point in, in the ground. I just go and remember the ground guy. Uh, I say that, I'm probably, I'm used to getting kicked in him, so it's, it's a bit of a different experience. But, um, 
he didn't catch me as clean, but you know, it's, it can happen, it happens to us at all levels, doesn't it? But yeah, obviously, I think then, then after that, the bell goes then. Um, after Pat says go back for it again. <laughs> but um, no, yeah, now we're coming back, uh, you know, felt felt good, you know, just just felt in relaxed, you know, comfortable, uh, just happy with the whole way it was going. In terms of, you know, didn't get caught with any silly shots. Could be just a bit cleaner, could be better. I'm just a perfectionist, I can't lie, I like it to be spot on which you know it never will be perfect but if we can always achieve more you can always get better 100 percent um but yeah now, now here we have uh, the the good the, the talk from pat now just saying like it didn't it wasn't like a bad thing he was just like what are you doing and now at first i was like oh now i've done something bad you know i thought i've done something bad but i'm getting i'm gonna get a grill in now and he was like ah, where's Leighton? so i was like what do you mean he's like where's the late in that scene when when he was on my shoulder before he come and join me so i said well Right, right here, you know what I mean? Like, go out and do that. He's, he's here for the taking, go and take it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's only going to come if you get it, you're the only one that's going to make it. Do you know what I mean? So, go and be late, and I'll just put my little twist on the end of it. Do you know what I mean? And then that's what. To be honest, in Ralph, I just thought, right, I'm just going to hit him now, hit him with a bit of the kitchen sink, as I say, and just see how he stands after that. If he, if he won't, goes down, he goes down. If he doesn't, then he stands on his toe, you know, stands toe to toe. Um, I'm in for a match here, do you know what I mean? And it's going to be a battle of will. Um, so it was about, it was like the first, about first 30, 40 seconds in, I'd say. And I hit him with, a, I think it was like a, a little an uppercut. And he could see in his eyes that, oh, wait, it's coming with a bit of venom here. Do you know what I mean? That little bit of like, I need to be on my, on my way. And then I noticed because he was trying to throw like a few looping bolo shots, you know, just to try and keep me away and just keep me on my toes so that I'm thinking he's, he's coming back. So I just thought, if I keep the tight guard, just walk him down, keep him, you know, keep him thinking about me. I'll make my openings ready, do you know what I mean? And then just, just, just break his will. That's all I thought would break his will. I knew I already hurt him a little bit to the body. Quite, I can say, questionable groin shot. But do you know what I mean? Like, whether it was or not. But I knew I'd already caught him with a shot that was weak in that area. And I knew he was weaker there than his head. Because he was worrying about dropping his elbows. So I knew then if I could just break that body, come over to the head. It, 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 I'll get the shot, I'll get that point. Mm-hmm, 100%. Um, so like here now, he's trying to do the tying up now. So I knew that, he, you know, it was tiring and it's not even a minute and a half. In my head, I knew it was not even a minute and a half now coming up to. So if I keep that uppercut, keep him clinging his hands up, I can sweep it underneath and I sweep it over the top. And that's what you see you do now. So just try it, start it right there then, just counter right hand over the top, right uppercut, slip back, and then left up, right uppercut, left body shot, do you know what I mean? Just keeping the levels, keeping him, just keeping him, moving. And then before you know it, he just sunk onto the ropes and, and there we go, now there was the first knockdown. He tried, and he tried to say it was a bit of a push, but it was, it was a left hook and I, I moved away more than anything and then pushed him, but yeah, you know, you know they, they play the tricks of the trade, don't they? You know, you know, he, knows, he knows the drill and the experience. Um, and then I knew then, as soon as like Lando, when it restarted, he come in with his head ready, try to look game to play, you know, the double bluff that I'm, I'm good to go. I knew then, as soon as he stepped back, didn't move his hands or his head, I knew he was, he, he didn't want none of it no more. And I just thought, just keep on his toes, just keep hitting him, just, just be more relentless. The other thing I would say is that I needed to just, you know, snap my punches a bit more. I was throwing him a with bad intentions, but I wasn't nice bringing it back. You know, like, you know, how Crawford was, just snapping it and pulling yeah, it back. I, I need to be a bit more enough, yeah. pulling yeah. it. But, you know, with, with time and with, 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 with working and practice, I'll get there, I'll get there 100%. Um, but here now, this is the moment now when we get him. Just hitting that head and then, yeah, there was a second count. I hit him too much to the body and he's, he was just worried about his body and I just knew if I hit him to the top of his head, He's just he's gonna not want it. He's hurt here, he's hurt there, he doesn't want none of it, do you know what I mean? And then got counted out. And then yeah. Got the crowd going again and then didn't we um Pat was happy, he smiled, so I knew he did something right. I didn't get a straight look, I didn't get the straight face, I thought he, he, he smiled at me. So I thought we've 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 done we've done something half all right there, you know, but no, yeah, big respect to him though, you know, obviously, you know, my opponent and you know. Like I say, it yeah, takes me to like, tango. Like the um, the but no, yeah. In, but Massively, you know, buzzing with the performance, but also, that, you know, they can do 100% like more. That. Do you know what I mean? But still got the third round we'll get there, we'll get there with time. Um, but yeah, so. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more, really more most of it. Like enjoyed it. Is it your first time watching it back? No, this is probably, to be honest with you, this is probably like the. I've watched it three, maybe four now. Maybe four times. And then I watched it. Two more times in the house, because my mum. <laughs> That's the two times I was in the house eating my tea at the same time. So I had no choice to watch it. Um, 
But no, yeah, probably, I probably, my mum's probably outwatched it. She's probably watched it about 20 times more than me. I can't lie. She loves rewatching them. My little baby, my little baby uh, cousin, she loves watching all my fights as well. She's older than me, but loves watching them. Do you know what I mean? She sits there. She, and she will sit there, dish, 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 you know, giving it. Um, she loves it. Um, but no, it, it, it was a great night. It was a great night overall. I enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? It was good to be mid card as well, a little bit easily, you know, I'm quite late on. So I got to watch some to a certain degree, even though I was upstairs, and then watch the ones after, do you know what I mean? So it was a great night overall. And then we obviously we had Pat at the end there with his little jokey, lifting his shoulder in to get the city badge in. We're not happy about that, but we, you know, we blame John O for that. But yeah, nice one, man.